There's a secret world of electromagnetic fields all around us, screaming at us at all times that we can't hear until today. In this weekend project by Jonas Gruska, we're gonna be soldering together what he calls an electro sleuch. It's a device that lets you listen in on the secret sounds of electronics all around you. This is a relatively simple build, and if you've worked on electronics projects before, you'll probably have half of the components in your leftovers drawer. You also need a pair of inductors, a 3.5 millimeter audio jack, and an op amp. You can easily get these from any online electronic supplier. Start by soldering the inductors to the top row of the perf board. Make sure that there's some distance between them. These are essentially our microphones, and you'll get a better stereo effect if you give them some room. Next, add the 2.2 microfarad capacitors to the inductors. These are gonna determine the base cutoff frequency. Then bridge the contacts between the inductors as shown. Add the one kilo ohm and 390 kilo ohm resistors to the circuit as shown. In this configuration, they function as an inverting amplifier. Note that the 390 kilo ohm resistors are placed in the standing up position. Now solder the socket for the op amp. You can solder the IC directly, but using the socket lets you experiment with other amplifier circuits. Plus, it also protects the somewhat delicate amp from the heat of the soldering iron. Make solder bridges between the socket and the resistors like you see here. Add the second pair of 2.2 microfarad capacitors. These work with the first pair to define the bass sound. Then add the 100 microfarad capacitors. These work as part of the virtual ground circuit. After that, add the 100 kilo ohm resistors, which act as a voltage divider. Finally, add the headphone jack and wire the connectors to the second pair of capacitors. You also need to add this short jumper from the IC to the last pair of capacitors. Also, if you haven't already, place the op amp into the IC socket. There's a few other op amps that work with this circuit, so feel free to experiment until you find a sound you really like. With the circuit done, connect the battery leads as shown to the virtual ground circuit, and then attach your battery any way you like. You can use a bit of hot glue, some double-sided tape, or a zip tie. Connect the battery, plug in your headphones, and start exploring. Or plug in an audio recorder and start sampling the world of electromagnetic fields. For someone who's into weird sounds and unusual tools, I really like this project. I think it's a lot of fun, and there's a great payoff. And I guarantee you, you're going to be the only one on your block with an electro sluice. All right, for the full write-up, head over to makezine.com and you can get all the project details there.